So this one's a bit of a sneak peek video. I'm putting together another full budget wild camping setup. And for this one, I'm getting everything from eBay. There'll be a full camp coming soon with all of the kit. But I thought I'd have a quick check of the tent that I bought. So it's a mountain warehouse backpacker two person tent. It's currently on their website for 75 quid, I think. The price on here says 109, but I doubt it's ever been sold for that. I paid 49.99 for this off eBay. Ice cream. Got a bag of pegs, and it looks like the ground sheet or footprint, and I'm guessing that's the outer. I'll leave the poles on it so it doesn't blow away. So good news is we've got the two poles. There's a long one and a short one. They are colour coded, so the long ones blue on the ends, and the short ones red. And then on the tent inner, you've got colour-coded sleeves at the top. So a blue one and a red one. And then the poles slot onto these pegs. So that's the poles in. Let's have a look at these pegs. So the standard kind of wire ones. They do feel a bit thicker and stronger than other ones that I've seen. And I've got 22 of these, so I don't know how complicated this is going to be. Now we throw the outer over the top. So we've got these tie iron points that connect the outer to the poles. I can't get the pegs in all the way because all underneath the whole lawn is just stones and rubble. And then I'm guessing, yeah, there'll be tie outs here as well to tie on there. Yeah, there it is. There's loads of pegging points. There's three on each side. There's a door on each side. And each door's got three. So I think these two hold that and give it some shape. And then this just holds the door. But we'll have a look inside in a minute. There's a vent here as well. But there's nothing there to hold it open. There is a bit of foam in there, but sometimes you get a little stick thing, don't you? Vent on that side as well. And you've got one, two, four guy lines. So two at the top, two at the bottom. I do like that colour. I think it's a similar design to the OEX Fox 2, but I've never seen one of those or had one of those to compare it to. So inside we've got like this foil coating underneath, which I guess is for a bit of warmth. There's two zips on the door. And the door itself is two different types of mesh and they are separated so you can unzip that and leave one of them rolled up if you want a bit of extra airflow I guess. So yeah, I'm in. Now bear in mind this is not pitched anywhere near as tight as it could be or should be. So it's not as cramped as I expected. Room for a sleep mat obviously but with my feet touching the bottom obviously this bit's touching my head a little bit but a better pitching would sort that out loads of room there so yeah my head's coming to about here there's plenty of space I could probably fit your rucksack there to be fair so yeah parts of it are quite thin mesh so this is the thin stuff here and then it goes to this thicker material at the top and you get both types of material on the doors. There's thinner mesh again at the bottom for a bit of ventilation and then storage wise there's one, two pockets there and the same on the other side as well. I never really bother with those. I've got a little loop at the top for a head torch or to hang your glasses on if you're a specky four eyes like me. And yeah it feels all right, it doesn't really feel claustrophobic or anything like I expected it to I think because it's nice and light and bright on the inside there's loads of airflow coming through as well it, it feels quite good so I'll be taking this out for a camp soon along with the rest of the eBay setup but if you'd rather buy new kit for yourself check out this video where I did a full setup for less than 150 pounds